Sean. I'm so sorry. I've just, I've just been under so much pressure, you know. I'd love to get dressed in private, please. I understand. Oh. If anything, this has made me love you even more. How brave of you to start our married life with a clean slate. You're a mug. None of this is real. You do know that, didn't you? Well, come on, say something. When I was on the game, right? Ooh, I did some iffy things. But of all the filth I have had to endure for money, being with you was by far the foulest. Your great, big, greasy, horrible body on top of me. Oh. Oh, the payday had to be really big to put up with you, didn't it? And you're standing here thinking you've made great realisations about yourself. Well, you haven't! You're the same doormat you've always been. Just like I'm the same heartless cow everybody warned you about. You love me, though. Oh, you love me, though. You love me, though. No! Ain't you listening to me? I have never loved you! You did. I saw it. It was fake. I pretended to like you. I pretended to care about your idiotic, nervous breakdown. And do you know what was hardest of all? I pretended to love you. I love you. <laughs> you can't love me, Barry. Don't you see? That is what I have been saying. I saw it. In the jacuzzi, you were telling me about Frank, and you smiled, and that was real. And you loved me. Even if it was just for a split second, you loved me. You see, you have got a heart. I haven't. You can have it all. I don't care. Take it. Just, just stay with me. No way. We won't even have to sleep together. Just don't leave me. I know that there is love in you. We'll find it together. Off me! Now, do you believe me? Jack. Memories are better.
Yes. Three, Michael. I've got to talk to you. Forget it. No, no, no. Listen, listen. It's Derek. He's got Carol. He made me help. He made me drag her over and everything. Where are you? Archie. Get over it now. Oh, Ricky, don't be sad. Come here. Crying, would you? She wants you to be having fun. Yeah. We can do that for her, can't we? Yeah. Dad, where's Mum? My boat came out. Michael! Well, 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 well. We are again. Just like old times, eh, David? Eh? Me and the lads, you being too thick to get the message. Hmm? You know, I bet you can remember exactly how much it hurt, that last beating I gave you. He warned you, didn't he? You mess with our sister, you're messing with us. All you need to do is get your motor and go, all right? No one needs to get hurt, do they? No, I think it's too late for that. I think what he needs is a little lesson. What he needs is something to remember me by. Hmm? Hold him. Hey, hold him still. Hold, hold him. Come on, David. He won't hurt a bit. I'll make it nice and quick. Wait, you want to go back inside, yeah? Oh, I know how to dump a body. Believe you me, Max. And your brother. And that right, Jack? Hey? Never hurts having old Bill on the firm. What, we're, we're just going to let him do this? Stay there! He ruined our sister's life! He did it before, and he'll do it again! It's her, isn't it, Derek? Hey, you can't make her stay here! She's got to stay here! Stay here where she belongs, with the family! You're jealous, you're jealous! You can't bear the thought of Carol caring about anyone else but you! Get him out! Get him out! Get him out! He can't! He can't! He can't! Get away with it! He can't! Get away with it! You think this is Georgia? You stupid, ugly, middle-aged woman! Wait till I get you back to Pakistan. I, I would rather die than go with you to Pakistan! And that is your choice. <laughs> is that your choice? Dennis, what a nice surprise. Fancy a drink? Keep your hands away from the desk. I beg your pardon. You won't! Are you pointing a gun at me, Dennis? I'd say that was a general idea. Now, why would you do something like that? Do you know why? No, I don't. I'm sorry. I... You caught me on the op. I haven't the faintest idea. You were going to have me killed! Who was I now? Phil Mitchell turns up, all tooled up, ready to put a bullet in my head. Well, he doesn't like you, but that's nothing to do with me. You put him up to it. Me? Why would I do that? I hardly know the bloke. That's not what he says. He says he owes you. You called him the favour. And you believe him? Ah, oh, don't waste your breath, Jack. Remember, I know you. I know how your mind works. And how does it work? Tell me, because I've never worked it out. Let's go. Go where? For a walk. A walk? Oh, a walk. One of those walks. Let's go. I thought you were going to tell me how my mind works. You're a clever bloke, Jack. Always one step ahead. Already you've got some little plan. Think you've spotted some little escape hatch. Well, let me put you straight. There ain't one. Isn't there? No, not this time. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Because I am feeling very hard done by. Boss? Get rid of him. Boss, are you in there? I'm busy. I've got your coffee. Change my mind. Go home. My jacket's in there. Look, I'm on a call. It's private. Right, I'll come up and get it tomorrow. Stay there. He's gone. 
Didn't tell me he was here, though, did you? Listen, Phil Mitchell wanted you shot. It's nothing to do with me. So he just got it in his head to put a hole in me? Why not? He hates your guts. Phil Mitchell's a nasty piece of work. Put it on. You like him? You trust him? What do you think? So where is he now, then? Dead? No. So he changed his mind, just like that? Well, what? Is that what happened? He comes at you with a gun, then he lets you off. Why? I made him an offer. Said I'd deal with you myself. You mean you played into his hands? What? Don't you see? That's what he wants. That's what he's always wanted. Fact is, I'm not after you. I'm after him. Mitchell. That's right. And that's why he's come looking for you. What are you talking about? His woman, that Kate. She's a cop. She was working here undercover, I found out. He said he'd go to the police if I touched a hair of her head. I don't believe you. Do me a favour, Dennis. You used to be a bright boy. You trust him over me? I spent 18 months in prison for you! And I was here for you when you got out. But you didn't want to know, did you? I wanted a new life! There isn't any new life! Just the old humdrum life, bobbing along, making a living, getting old, waiting to die. Yeah. Well, your wait is over. You haven't been listening to a word I've said, have you? I have, and that's been my mistake. I should never let you back inside my head. You are a real disappointment to me, Dennis. Do you know that? Move! Mitchell's using you. He's taking advantage. I don't want to hear any more. Once he's finished with me, he'll come after you. Shut up! Shut up or I'll do you right here! Listen, Mitchell's behind this. He's the one you've got to sort. You're lying! I know you are! Are you sure? Ask yourself one question. Who do you really believe? Mitchell, who screws your ex, hates your guts, or me? Well, make a choice, Dennis. We can settle this tonight. Mitchell, or me? Who'll it be? Shall we see if it suits you? There you go. You look beautiful. It was my sister's wedding. How can I not go to my sister's wedding? Where were you just now? It was in the bar. I was wishing I could lock it ahead night. Luck! You're the one that's gonna need luck, sweetheart. And the deep fat fryer? I'm sorry. You will be sorry, darling. So you think you can make a fool of your husband, eh? You never learn. It's the same old thing with you. Over and over again. <coughs> well, I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Can you say... Can I say what? What the future's going to bring. It could be love. It could be love. It could be almost anything. Every day... Even Tuesdays. ...is a step into the great unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Just give in, surrender, and leave your foolish pride. <laughs> she says, kiss me. <laughs> Magic never happens to those who don't believe. No, magic never happens to those who don't believe. Believe. Do you love me? I said, Do you love me? I love you. 
Better clean yourself up, eh? You look a bit of a mess. I'll do anything, I promise. Anything you want. Just don't do that I tried to run away. Please. Tell you what. How about you swear on your dad's life that you'll never speak to Abby again? You said anything. I swear. Hello? Anyone? Oh, you're back, Abby. I've uh, just popped back for a quick shower. I got oil all over, ma'am. Any chance for a bit of lunch? Yeah, yeah, of course. Good job I can keep a secret. Oh. Mine, I think. Shone out like a light. Yeah. So you heeded my advice about this place? Yeah. I thought I'd get my house in order. Yeah. What made you change your mind? Something Alice said. Alice. Good old Alice, eh? Yeah. In fact, what she said made me do quite a lot of thinking. I must say I find your attitude impressive. Well, we both want what's best for Scarlet, don't we? Of course we do. Did you enjoy your little, um, daddy-daughter session today? Yes, Janine, I did. Good. Because it's going to be the last one you have in a really, really long time. You see, the appointment was with my solicitor. I'm changing Scarlett's name to Butcher. No. She's my daughter. She's Scarlet Moon. Not for much longer. You can't do that without my consent. I have rights. I have very deep pockets and I don't see how you're going to stop me. You see, I might not be the world's greatest mother, but I do hold all the cards. And I don't want you to have anything to do with Scarlet's upbringing. What's the matter? Did you get all excited? Get your hopes up after today's start, uh, imagining some sort of life of domestic bliss. <gasps> oh, and I've cruelly snatched that away from you. Really must hurt. You think you're so clever, Michael. But you're not. You were just very messed up, abandoned, scared little boy who's still crying over his mother's dead body. <laughs> <laughs> Say sorry now. Sorry. That's it. <laughs> you kiss Scarlet night night for me. Don't go away that easy, sunshine. Where are you going with that lot? I've got to take it to airport. No, I can't get any more for you. Not tonight, anyway. I'll try again tomorrow. No, I've got to do this school project. They're checking up on me. That's interesting. It's amazing what some of these old folks got stashed away, isn't it? She's like my mum, old Ethel. Don't believe in banks. Why would your school be interested in my memories? Oh, come back with me, tape recorder. Look, what's wrong with now? You can write it down, can't you? We well, don't teach you to write in the schools no more. Oh. Personally, I'd love to hear what the lady has to say. That's if you don't mind the intrusion, love. Oh, no, I like a bit of company. Would you like a drink with me? 
Now, I've got some stout. Drop a nice sherry. Delighted. Oh, I haven't got any lemonade, Marky. Would you like some milk? Look, I've left me no paper at home. Oh, I suspect Ethel's got a bit of paper, right? Oh, no problem. In my little desk. I bought it down that new warehouse in Mayor Street. Lovely, isn't it? Fifty p a week. Now, where did I put that pad? You've got to have somewhere to keep your valuables, ain't you? Yeah, my old mum's just the same. Don't believe in banks. I mean, you don't know what they do with it in those places, do you? Them's exactly my feelings. But you got a fair old bit tucked away in there, isn't that right? But it's time we went. How much you got then, Ethel? Well, that's my business, isn't it? And a lady never tells her business. But you're going to, aren't you? There's a good girl. What do you mean? You're going to get it all out and give it to me, aren't you? We don't want any trouble, do we? Any nasty business? Remember what happened to old Reg Cox? Let you go! You're not going to make any noise either, because you'll get hurt if you do. <laughs> Reg didn't make any noise. Well, not at first. Now, come on, hurry up. Well, this little fellow's going to get crushed under my boot. Oh, down. <laughs> you bitch! You bitch! Come in here and... Uh, I warned you! Get out! And you've been Get asking out. for this! 